Hi, my name is Butuina Angreni Tiastuti and my partners Mediana Suyono and Olivia Sinta Ashari. In this video, we would like to explain about phonemes, phones, and allophones. Some people might still confuse about the difference between phonemes, phones, and allophones. And now we are going to explain about those materials. The first thing that we are going to explain is about phonemes. Phonemes are the symbol that you see on the phonetic chart. They are the smallest phonetic units in a language that are capable of conveying a distinction in meaning. Phonemes are abstract mental representation. It is already stated in our mind, but we don't pronounce it yet. Phonemes are represented with slices. Here is the example of phonemes. In the word keep, contains of three phonemes. They are k, e, and p. The word keep has a meaning which is to have or continue to have in your possession. When we change the k phoneme to the phoneme, it would make the word change from keep into deep, and it is carrying different meaning. The word deep has a meaning which is going or being a long way down from top or surface. So, if you change a phoneme in a word to another phoneme, it will change the meaning of the word. That's why a single phoneme could convey a meaning. The next thing that I am going to explain is about phones. Phones refer to the instances of phonemes in the actual utterances. They are the realization sound of phonemes. When you pronounce a phoneme, it becomes a phone. Phones are represented with brackets. The last thing that I am going to explain is about allophones. Allophones are audibly distinct variations of phonemes. They are set of possible spoken sounds used to pronounce one single phoneme. One phoneme could have several allophones. Allophones are represented with bracket. Here is the example of allophones. The is a phoneme, but in the word top, the way we pronounce the is different to in the word stop. In the word top, we pronounce the with a puff of air, which is called aspirated and in a strong way but when we pronounce the in the word stop there is no puff of air and we tend to pronounce it in a weaker way and that's called an aspirated the and the are allophones of phonemes the i think that's all of our explanation about the difference between phoneme phones and allophones we hope that our explanation will help you to more understand. Thank you for watching and goodbye.